Well, the political chaos in the United Kingdom is continuing as outgoing Prime Minister Liz Truss resigns after just six weeks in office, meaning Britain is searching for its third Prime Minister of the year. The Tory MPs who want to replace Ms Truss have until 2pm local time on Monday to gather the support of 100 MPs to be able to run. The fast-tracked contest for the next UK Prime Minister will be declared within a week. Reports suggest former Finance Minister Rishi Sunak and current leading MP Penny Mordaunt are seen as contenders. Some political analysts also say there is a real possibility of a comeback by former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The Daily Telegraph newspaper reports that Mr Johnson is privately urging Tory MPs to back him for a return to number 10, with a promise that he can win the Conservatives' the 2024 general election. Johnson is also reportedly reaching out to his former Finance Secretary Rishi Sunak to get back together after their public fallout cost Johnson his premiership. Opposition Labour leader Sakir Starmer and other opposition parties have called for an immediate general election while saying Johnson is still unfit for office after he himself was forced out in July. Well, I remind uh, myself that only three months ago Boris Johnson left office because most of those who were serving him on his front bench had declared that he was unfit for office. So to go from the kamikaze budget under Liz Truss back to a man that his own party has declared is unfit for office is the most powerful argument you could possibly have for a general election so that we can put the alternative case to the country, which is stability, growth, an economy that works for everyone rather than this chaos. Meanwhile, in the British capital, Londoners are split on whether the UK should call for a national election and who should lead the Conservative Party. I mean, it's difficult. I don't think there's a way out of this. A general election causes more uncertainty. A lack of general election is, um, is thoroughly undemocratic. It's, um, it's a difficult choice. I like the sounds of Richie personally, but um, he's, been, he's, he's proven that he can do the job in, in the parliament, not necessarily as PM, but in other parts of the business. So Boris coming back, I don't know if, if it's wise going back to that right now. Well, Liz Truss resigned after a rebellion by her Tory MPs, making her the UK's shortest ever serving Prime Minister. She was elected only in September to lead the Conservative Party by Conservative members, and with the support from only around a third, though, of the party's lawmakers. Right, let's get more on this ongoing political instability in the United Kingdom. Let's join our London correspondent, Alex Isat. She is in London for us. Uh, Alex, uh, I mean, every it's not every day that something changes. We are just hearing more and more about what's going on hour by hour. Uh, the latest, perhaps some uh, updates on Ben Wallace, the Defence Secretary, and whether he will stand or not. Oh, you're right. It does seem to be an ongoing saga. And honestly, it, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, ben Wallace has now come out and said that he would support Boris Johnson if um, Boris Johnson decided to run. Of course, no candidate has put themselves forward yet. So at the moment, uh, even though MPs are actively voting for who who they would like to go forward. Neither Boris or Rishi or Penny have come forward and said that they will. But Ben Wallace has taken himself out and he has said that he would back Boris Johnson if it came to that decision. But of course, it seems a huge turmoil. You know, you, you were right there within this year alone. We've already had a number of uh, prime ministers, but in the last six years, we've had five different prime ministers. It does seem that whoever comes in really needs to steady this ship. They can't keep promising. We can't can't have any more policies that have come out of nowhere. Well, we tried, Liz Trust tried to push with her economic growth policies and that failed and, and caused inflation to go high. And obviously the pound and the market was also spooked as well. So who may lead us at the Conservative Party, the government, the UK people? Well, Rishi Sunak is up there. He does have 51 members at the moment who are behind him pushing to try and get him to go to the next level and I said Penny Mordaunt and then Boris Johnson but from what we understand about Boris Johnson that he is actually on his way back from his holiday 
but he will only run if he thinks he can win. He is a very determined individual and of course he's quite popular and a lot of um, people within his own party do want him to return and actually in fact um, Jonathan Gillis who resigned because of Boris Johnson has said that he would back Boris Johnson if he came back again. It doesn't really seem that the party is on an even keel. They don't seem to have unity within, the, within themselves. And that is what really needs to change here. And that really needs to come out of all of this, yet another contest. Alex, thank you very much. Alex Isaac there, live for us in London.